or uh, probably better known as Creatures of the Big Blue from Instagram. Uh, this video will be an introduction video uh, telling bits about the tank, why it crashed, why I restarted it. So yeah, first of all I want to thank everybody uh, for the support and the good reactions about me making my YouTube channel uh, bigger or better again. Uh, so yeah, um, I also want to mention my native language is Dutch, so my English might be not really perfect. I'm gonna try my best at uh, pronouncing everything right and hopefully say my sentences in the right order. So, first of all, uh, why did I restart my tank? There were two main reasons. First reason was it crashed. I don't know why, still don't know how it happened. Um, I had a beautiful stocked SPS dominant tank, um, but for some reason, a lot of my corals, especially the most beautiful SPS corals, Acrophores and such, start dying off. After they start dying, I immediately tested my water, uh, especially alkalinity was perfect on point at 8.3, uh, calcium was 450, magnesium was 30, 30 and 20 I guess, uh, so nothing was really off, nitrates were at 5, so I really have no idea why the tank crashed. The second reason, it was covered in Aptasia, I had no idea how to get rid of it, I tried a lot of stuff, I tried uh, a shrimp, it didn't work, so I got uh, I got rid of it because it started eating on my uh, Melopora. Um, oh, I mean my Stylopora, I was wrong, sorry. Um, the second thing I tried was uh, Aptasia eating Uli branches. I got five of them, you know they're expensive, so I didn't want to get a lot of them. I started out with five, never seen them again. So. Yeah, that was a big bummer, that was a lot of money just down the drain. Then I also tried Aptasia X from Red Sea, and that only made things worse. I'm never trying that product again, it might work for you, but it didn't work for me, so yeah, that's everybody's opinion. I might have done something wrong, I don't know, but i never gonna use it again. So a bit more about the new build. The new build uh, won't be SPS dominant, a lot of people ask me why, eh? because I had a, a beautiful SPS dominant tank before. The main reason is I don't want to have a crash again with SPS corals. I love SPS corals, um, but in my opinion LPS will be a bit more easy to take care of and my girlfriend she loves a lot of LPS corals with the movement in the tank and such. So the new build will be LPS dominant with a few SPS corals. I already have a few in there, um, but I'm not gonna over exaggerate with SPS corals. Uh, mostly LPS, like my golden uh, Indo torch, which I'm guessing is a dragon soul, I'm not sure, it's starting to color really nice. Um, so, and I want a lot of euphilias and hammer coral and torches and such. Uh, but I'm a bit scared of um, brown jelly disease. That's the only thing I'm scared of with a lot of LPS corals, especially euphilias. So, yeah. That's the main plan of the tank. You're probably wondering why I am in my car and not at home in front of my tank. Well, the main reason is I'm on my way to a good friend of mine to pick up some corals for my tank. Um, he also has Instagram. His name is at uh, Coral Reefer 325. I will make sure to tag his profile in the description. He has one of the most beautiful LPS dominant tanks I have ever seen in my life um, and he has helped me a lot lately with how to take care of euphilias and such I'm going to him right now 
to pick up a really nice flower coral or as you guys say an elegance it's gonna be a pink tip elegance and uh, also some blastos most of you will probably see the corals that I, I'm going to get right now on my Instagram today because when this video is edited and published on my YouTube it's probably gonna be a, a week or so later of a couple of days see I'm gonna try my best at um, bring some good content and hopefully you guys like it so yeah one eternity later so yeah uh, it's been a couple of days since the, uh, the previous part of the video um, I wanted to wait for the new corals to adjust a little bit more to the tank uh, they're doing great by the way it's been like four to five days I guess uh, I picked them up on Friday today is Tuesday so yeah, um, they're doing really great. They open up really nice. Um, the tank itself, the lights are on from 9 a.m. and it's about 11 a.m. right now. So the lights been on for two hours. Um, so the cores are still opening up slowly during the day. Uh, so yeah, I'll show you the corals themselves. So I got a really nice pink tip elegance coral. Um, it's doing really great right now the size isn't fully opened up um, I think it doubles up in size when it's completely open um, it's yeah I really like it and thanks to my good friends Bjorn uh, he gave me a good deal on the coral so I couldn't let it pass the second coral I got are these red blastos. Uh, I don't know which species exactly or which name they have. Um, they really look puffed up, so I'm really glad. Um, if anyone knows the name of them, please let me know down in the comments. And the last coral I got from Bjorn at, on Friday was uh, a red slash orange chalice. Um, it's doing really great. I placed it a bit in a shadow spot so it doesn't get a lot of light and uh, it seems like a place where I put it so yeah uh, I also mentioned what I use uh, to put my corals in the tank uh, I use D&D aquascape construction epoxy uh, a lot of people recommended me this it's some sort of putty I guess um, it's a two-part putty I really like to use it really easy to use it and it sticks the corals within a few seconds to the rocks and it becomes rock solid so yeah really uh, enjoy this product to use and I recommend it to everyone who can buy it you should buy it because yeah it's really good um, about the corals themselves right now uh, everything is doing great um, especially my golden torch is doing really good um, my Duncans that I got last uh, last week at Vivarium doing really good actually all my corals I was a bit afraid of for my Goniopora I got um, I never had any luck with Goniaporas, but this one this is doing really good so yeah I'm really happy with the tank right now uh, hopefully my GoPro can capture the tank really nice but I'm not pretty sure about that yeah um, so I'm gonna end this video for now um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video so what do you guys want to see on my uh, Instagram or on my YouTube channel let me know uh, I'll try my best to give you good content so yeah see you guys later